Happy Friday, oil traders. It is September 8th still. It's 2.59 p.m. Eastern Time here on the East Coast, and we've got about an hour left in trading, and I thought I'd uh, touch base with you guys because what a day. If uh, <laughs> I was anticipating some action today after the boring session yesterday, you know, with news and everything, we didn't move. Well, today, markets made up for that, and then some. We had a drop of as much as 3.3% in the price of crude, um, dropping from the low 49s to as low as the low 47s. Um, we're now sitting at the mid 47s at 47.15 as I talk to you now. Um, and uh, well, it was lots of action. As you guys know, um, if we were to drop, I had planned on first hedging my shorts before selling the shorts. Um, in order to give as much time for that drop to basically materialize as possible. Uh, in the past, I've exited shorts rather rapidly, and this time I decided that I need to better um, position myself long term with more hedging positions um, before exiting um, the kind of the reverse position, I guess. Um, however, you phrase that. Um, so basically, I had two shorts um, at one at uh, 49.20 and the next at 48.60. Um, I exited both of those, but what I did first was I went long to hedge at 48.05. So basically where we started to settle in here, uh, it looked like that was going to be a good place at which to get in, which is what I did. Um, of course, we then dropped again, um, but I was prepared for that. Had we dropped, I was looking for um, at least a 60 cent difference between my uh, previous position. So at 48.05, I was looking for something kind of in the below 48 and a half, uh, excuse me, below 47 and a half. Um, when I saw 47.41, um, that was basically good enough, and I managed to get 47.39 as the next long position. So two long, two long buys, and in between those two long buys, I exited two short positions. Those shorts that I just mentioned, one at 49.20 and one at 48.60. Um, so between those two, it was an average return of 4.25% on two positions, or about 1,500 bucks. Um, so not bad for what turned out to be a, an average of a two and a half day hold or so. So those purchases, those uh, orders were uh, put in for the shorts, um, the HOD ETF, the Bear ETF um, from Horizon on September 5th and September 6th. Um, so an average of uh, two plus two, three days or so um, and exited today, September 8th. So it was a return of 4.27%, um, an average weighting of about 35% of the portfolio between those two positions, and a return of about 1500 bucks or 1505 So yeah, really happy with that. Um, if we take a look at my portfolio, you can see that it's moving now um, away from the bearish side. Um, it's still weighted towards the bear side with 79.5% on the bear, 45% on the bull. Um, after today's drop, um, of course, that uh, first long buy that I got in uh, is now negative at about two and a half percent. The last one is currently positive um, by about a third of a percent. Uh, but considering the profits in the bank, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, what a day, what a day. Um, what can we expect? after the weekend. Um, I would say a bounce is likely, but we might hit 47 first before we bounce. Um, the question for me will be at what point do I get into my next long position and I'll have a think of that on that over the weekend. Um, but I would expect something a little bit below 47 would be ideal for me. Um, kind of 46.80 probably something somewhere around there. Um, I would not be selling the short just yet, but rather just as I did today, enter in the long hedging position before selling the short. Um, that's what I've got planned. Let me know what you guys did today. It was uh, quite a day for traders, um, bull or bear. Um, you can hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, and performance. Um, this is how uh, the month of September is shaping up. We've got two two results and let's see here September we've got uh, about 1900 bucks in the bank um, with uh, five trades executed um, because we've, we uh, sold two at once basically that's why we got the odd number there 
Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll touch base with you guys over the weekend um, to do a wrap up of this past week and for thoughts on the week ahead. Until then, good luck. Cheers.